Welcome back to the Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles channel. Today we have a multi-denominational hunt, but a lot larger than what I normally do. $340 in quarters. I have $40 in dimes. 10, 20, 30, 40. I have $12 in nickels. And I want to say it was like $650 in Lincoln cents. So we're going to be looking for silver, W's, silver W's in here as well, uh, errors, varieties, proofs, foreigns, proofs, silver, uh, shield nickels, uh, V nickels, buffaloes, war nickels, flying eagle, Indian heads, wheat cents, um, steelies. There's a lot to look for. And then on top of that, the errors and varieties. So let's get into it. I'll start with the quarters per usual, move on to the dimes and nickels, finish out with the pennies. Uh, let me get into it. I'll be right back with the first find. Working on roll number five. And I have a Bessie Coleman under the scope with a die chip on the wing. And in the first four rolls, I have one, two, five. Kanaka Ole's with a decent size die chip in the A and a little bit in the K here. So I held five of those aside so far. All right, let me keep it going. Bring you in with the next find. Just finished roll number 11 and we had two finds. I have the Maya Angelou with DDR number one on Variety Vista. You can see extra doubling right here, or doubling in the earring. And then we have a homestead with a little bit of snow on the roof right there. There's some die chips. And I can't tell if this is just dirt, but it looks like there's a little die chip right there. But we also have a leaky bucket. So a large die chip at the bottom of the bucket right there. So hold these two aside, continue on with the hunt. Working on roll number 12, and look at this. We have a W, and it's a 2019 because there is no V75 right in here. I have not checked it yet, but it looks like it's in great condition for being five years old. So let's see what we have. I'm going to say Lowell. No, we have a war in the Pacific. All right, W on the board. We need a silver and a proof. That's awesome. All right, let's keep the hunt going. Bring you back with the next find. Roll number 17. We have a Bessie Coleman. And we've got a fairly large die chip on the upper wing right here. It looks like uh, kind of like original Atog's little, um, again, like an emoji or a character. All right, let's keep her going. Just finished roll 21. We have a homestead. I'm not sure I've found this one before or recently. Definitely not recently, but we have doubling in this window right here. Just a little bit there and down here so that's a cool one um, again I'm not sure I've come across this one before so we'll definitely be holding this one aside and we have a Maya Angelou with the nesting bird or twig in the beak right here so that was very very popular in 2022 when this coin first came out this coin actually sold for a couple of hundred bucks I think now it's down to like three but it's a variety we'll hold it aside let's keep it going hunting roll 22 we have a tall grass prairie and we have the large die chip right here on the inner wing right there it's not supposed to be there it's an error. We'll keep it. Be right back. 
Just started in on roll number 23. I have a 2007 Wyoming under the scope with a decent sized die chip on the tail of the horse right here. That's not supposed to be there. Let's keep it going. Be right back. Still roll number 23. I have another tall grass prairie. And we have a small die chip on the wing right here. This one I won't be keeping. Eh, for an, I'll hold it aside, but I'm not going to keep it. But we'll hold it aside as a find. Let's keep it going. Hunting roll 26. And I have a Votor para la Mujer, or a Nina Otero Warren quarter, with a large die chip on the nose. This seems to be a die chip hunt. All right, put this aside here. All of these are Kanaka Oles with the die chip in the A. So we have a bunch of die chips. Keep the hunt going, I'll bring you back with the next find. 34 rolls of quarters have been hunted. Let's go through our finds. We had some lower mintage. I think I had four Mount Hoods, 2010. One Grand Canyon, 2010. And a Gettysburg, 2011. I only held those aside because they were in nice condition. I got a one main, Acadia, 2012. 32 of the um, die chips inside the K and the A, but a lot of the A is, is filled in these. So I held those aside. I'm going to check those on eBay, see what they're going for. For our errors and varieties, we had the die chip on the nose, a small die chip on the inner wing, a larger die chip on the inner wing, a die chip on the horse's tail, die chip on the upper wing, and another die chip on the upper wing, a couple of small die chips on the roof, and a leaky bucket. For our better finds, uh, we had the DDR in the windows. Uh, I think this one is the twig possibly and the DDR for the earrings DDR 001 I believe and then to top it all off we had our war in the Pacific West Point so that's it for our quarters let's get into the dimes and I'll bring you in with the first find be right back working on the last roll of dimes roll number eight and we were saved. We have a 1970D right there with the proof reverse. So we have one fine for the dimes. A few more coins to look through, but this is probably be it. I'll bring it back if we find something else. If not, I'll move on to the nickels. Be right back. All right, that was it for our dimes. We have a 1970D. Proof reverse. Let's move on. Be right back. Working on the second roll of nickels. And I believe we have a buffalo. Yeah, we have a buffalo. And pretty green buffalo is probably in the ground. And I don't think we're going to get a date off of that bad boy. Way Jose. It's three feathers, we know that. No mint mark. This thing's pretty chewed. Hey, we got a buffalo on the board. Alright, let's keep it going. Be back. I think we have a Canadian in here too, I think I saw. Right here. Yeah, 1966, well that's a pretty early date. All right, let's 
keep her going. Be back with the next find. Roll number three. We have our first 50s find. 1958 out of Philly. Be back with the next one. Working on the last roll of nickels, roll number six. And we have an oldie here, I think. Let's see. 1946 out of Philly. Very common. So we have a 50s and 40s find. Let me finish this roll out. I'll bring in if I come across anything else. Nickels have been hunted. We came out of it with a 1966 Canadian foreign nickel, a 1946 Philly, a 1958 Philly, and a dateless buffalo. Very green. All right, I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen rolls of pennies to hunt. Let's get into that. Hopefully, we can find something cool. Be right back. Second roll of Lincoln's. We had an ender. Was reverse facing. I have not seen it. I'm going to say somewhere in the 40s, probably a 44, but let's see. 52 out of Denver. Looks normal to me. All right. Let's keep it going. First find. There was something else in. I think it's a Canadian. 1972. All right. Let's keep it going. Roll number three. We have our next weedy. It was obverse facing, so I did see it. We have a 1945. Everything looks normal. Don't see anything going on there. Uh, just damage, it looks like. Go back. Not a. All right, let's keep her going. Bring in with the next piece. Working on roll number four. I have a 2018 under the scope. If I come to the side here, we've got a nice die crack right through the shoulder of Lincoln. Right here, I guess that would could be considered a spike head because it actually comes into the design. So right there. Definitely hold that aside. Let's keep it going. Bring you back in with the next find. Working on roll number eight. And we have a weedy. Nineteen fifty-six. Denver. And that looks normal to me. Pull back a little. Not see any die cracks. Okay, let's keep her going. Be right back. Still on roll number eight. I have a 2000 under the scope, and this has been a while. We have a wide AM. So from here to here, these should be relatively touching. And the FG is closer to the Lincoln Memorial. So we have a wide AM. Alright, and I did notice there's another weedy right there. We have a 1952 D. That looks normal. If any of you can hear the fan in here, um, I'd like to apologize, but I'm not gonna. It's hotter than a witch's in here. I haven't get, got the air conditioners yet, so the fan it is. All right, keep hunting this roll. I'll bring you back in with the next find. 
Working on roll number 11. We have our next wheat scent, 1956. Out of Philly. Got some paint on it. All right, on to the next. Be right back. All right, 13 rolls of pennies have been hunted. Here's our finds. We had a 1956 Younghead Canadian, a 72 Canadian, and a 1990 Canadian. We had 140s find, a 1945 Wheaty. We had a 52 Denver, a second 52 Denver, a 56 and a 56 Denver, four Wheaties out of the 50s. We had 109 early childhood. 2018 with the die crack coming up the side, which you can see right there. And a 2000 wide AM. So that's cool. Very glad to have that. I haven't found one of these in a long time. 2098, have never found a 99 or a 92. All right. Let me uh, close this out. I want to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified on all of my upcoming videos. See you on the next one.